I'm Vadim Pogachev, Chief Technology Officer of Biocom Technologies. Our company is a well-known leader in research and development of innovative products and technologies, including software and hardware for health and fitness assessment, physiological research, and biofeedback based on the new science called heart rate variability. Today we'll talk about how to practically use the heart rhythm scanner to perform specific type of health assessment. One of the most common application utilizing health assessment based on HRV analysis is quantitative measurement of the effect of specific intervention like using specific therapy, giving medication or taking biofeedback training sessions. This scenario assumes taking two identical assessments before and after the intervention. Now we will demonstrate a typical scenario of use of the heart rhythm scanner to evaluate the effect of a typical biofeedback relaxation session. A 48 years old female patient was treated by a professional biofeedback therapist. The patient experienced frequent events of anxiety causing psychophysiological problems. The therapist has administered a 30 minutes biofeedback relaxation session using a standard GSR biofeedback technique. The heart rhythm scanner was used to obtain the autonomic balance assessment before and after the training session. The patient completed a special self-report questionnaire to assess the anxiety level before treatment. Then the first assessment uh, of the autonomic balance was conducted uh, as it was demonstrated in our previous video lessons. Upon finishing the biofeedback session, the patient completed the same self-report questionnaire to assess the anxiety level again. Then, the second autonomic balance test was conducted. Now, we will see how the autonomic balance assessment reveals the effect of this biofeedback relaxation treatment. Now, we open the patient record, select the pre-post assessment report, and open it. Uh, the software shows two consecutive assessment reports for pre and post tests. We scroll it down, we'll see two reports. Uh, the better, to better see the difference, we will use different report formats available in the software. First, let, let's open a comparison bar chart. It shows multiple charts for all HRV parameters measured before and after the treatment. The following parameters show typical pattern of relieving anxiety, uh, decreased heart rate, increased SDNM, uh, decreased tension index, Uh, decreased low frequency where is the low frequency and increased high frequency uh, uh, this means that sympathetic activity level has decreased while parasympathetic level increased this is a typical sign of good relaxation then let's open the heart rate graphs for pre and post tests Uh, we see that heart rate decreased uh, after a relaxation session, training session, and the uh, heart rhythm pattern became very coherent compared to uh, pre-session. And finally, let's open the autonomic balance comparison diagram. It indicates that pretest is located in the stress response zone, uh, which is a typical pattern for anxiety. The post test is located in the balanced autonomic normatonia area, uh, almost at the border of relaxation response. Uh, this is a typical pattern of well relaxed condition. Overall, we can conclude that this treatment session was very successful. Uh, this was a presentation of a typical scenario of using the heart rhythm scanner 
to evaluate the effect of single treatment by taking the autonomic balance test before and after the treatment. Next time we will show you how to use the heart rhythm scanner to evaluate the effect of long-term course of treatment. We also provide free phone consultations on HRV, how to use it, and how to choose Biocom product that would best fit your needs. Thank you for watching this video and we will see you next time.